Hello everybody, this is Roland from Defense of the Patients. I'm sitting here with Sir Action Who? Hi, Slacks, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sir Action Slacks? Slacks, yeah. Sir Action Slacks. Oh, that was the first time anyone's asked me that. We're here at ESL One New York. Um, IG and Vega are playing right now, but that's not the important part. The important part is, uh, I want to congratulate you, sir, on winning the Doc Peabody's best <laughs> Best episode. Yes! You won the best episode. Oh. And, you know, Nahaz has already done this. You have to give an acceptance speech. An acceptance speech. An acceptance speech for winning best episode. It was episode 62. 62. It, we, we had the interview with you. Oh, I remember you know. it like yesterday. Yeah. The day I graduated college, the day I met my girlfriend, and the day I did the Defense of the Patients <laughs> podcast. Those are the top three. Acceptance speech? Acceptance speech. What is there more to say? When I was born, my father said I would achieve nothing. My mother, she left. She went to the drugstore, she never came back. People my whole life have told me that I would be worthless. And one day, I got a call up from defense of the patients. And they say, you know what, we want to interview you. Ooh, we want to know what you're about. God, I, it was the opportunity of a lifetime. And after I did that episode, things started to work out. My mom came home from the drugstore, 13 years ago, she's back. Father called me up and he said, you did it, son. It was the best experience in my life. And to know that I had the best episode? I just don't know what to say. Because it makes everything that I've tried to achieve in this world worth it. Thank you for voting. I have no reason to live because that's the greatest thing I've ever achieved. It was it was it was tough competition. How do you what do you want to say to Zayori who was also nominated? What do you want to say to Nahaz who was also nominated? What do you want to say to Capris who was also nominated? I mean you beat me. Fuck Zayori. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Everybody else I ain't. Everybody else I ain't. I'm not well, laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. You're welcome. But, uh, yeah, no. I mean, they cool. They cool. Zayori, what are you talking about? Cosplayers for 40 minutes? <laughs> Jesus. You know, fucking broken record, that kid. But uh, surprise, I beat out the Haas. Uh, he's he's a smart lad. He, he got best interview. Oh, he got best interview. Yeah, you got you got best overall episode. What did uh did um. Capitalist win best uh, cosplayer? For no, he won days? best mohawk. Mohawk? <laughs> he won best mohawk, yeah. yeah. that is the only thing he brings to the scene, so understandable. If I had a mohawk, I could do it too. I mean, I don't know. That's correct, though. So, yeah. how have things been with you guys? You guys been, what, what has been your personal? Uh, we've, we've been getting there. What is our personal what? Favorite interview. Uh, don't say me, because I got loaded by the fans. Honestly, I don't know. I mean, Nahaz was cool because that was like, we went from nothing to something, almost, is what oh, kind of happened. Wow. He was a, it was a big, he was a big time. I mean, big fish. He was, yeah, it was a big fish to catch. And he was, and he was a cool guy, and he was down to earth, and we were like all nervous. And he was like, wait, they're just other people like us? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I will say you. I will say Zayori. I will say Capitalist. Uh, just getting the people that you saw on the screen for so long to talk to you and find out that they're real people too yeah. uh, is, is pretty amazing. LD and, LD really and was God's my favorite both. interview, that 30 yeah. seconds that I just had with, with Purge. Yeah. That's my, 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 my favorite yeah. Purge is the man. I, was, I like clammed up, dude. I was like, hi, I'm, I'm Ro Ro Roland. You taught me how to play Dota, and he's like, cool, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Purge is terrifying to talk to him. Because when you yeah. look into his eyes, you see him calculating. And you're like, yeah. what is he thinking about? And it's terrifying. You don't know what he's, he's making so many judgments. And not like harsh judgments, just what he does. Purge analyzes. When he watches Dota, he's thinking about a million things. And when he's talking to you, he's like staring into your soul. He's figuring yeah. you out. And I was I'm, like, you you told me to get dig on on Nature's Prophet. And he's like, no, I would have never done that. And it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing here at ESL? Uh, ESL, I got hired by a company yeah. called like, Esports US. The same guys. Yeah, like, Esports oh, uh, Twitch, right? Yeah, Twitch yeah, yeah, it's Twitch too, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a uh, it's a startup where they're trying to have teams in Dota fighting against each other, and then they're gonna get like fundraising, and 50% of the fundraise will go to a charity, and the rest will go to the prize. So oh, that's it's like cool. a kind of almost a non-profit, and it's just trying to spread charity and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's a good cause, I guess. Is it a good company? Uh, it's going places? Uh, it's a pretty good company. 
company, yeah, the guy in charge I haven't heard of him until Twitch talk. Yeah, yeah. Um, the guy in charge of it is a good guy. He, um, he's kind of doing this just out of, kind of fun. It's not like a thing. One thing in esports is that it seems like everyone's trying to get rich quick. And, uh, you know, get their name out there, get a lot of money, get a lot of fans, and uh, pull a gamer's paradise, you know, and they just fail. But uh, this guy seems to, he wants to do it because he wants to do something good and give back. So, I mean, he seems hey, like a cool. nice guy. I mean, you built a, a goddamn uh, school in Africa? Yeah, that's right. Well, People could say the same about you, right? No, no, no. Hey, I, I helped out. And that was probably okay. the most racist stream I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Every donation came with something horribly offensive. And you're just like, thank you. I'm like, thanks for the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> well, Slex. Uh, yeah, God. Uh, what do you what do you have to say to the, the docu viewing audience for uh, for voting? Oh God! I mean, I mean, you gave your acceptance speech. Yeah, that was all dark. It was all bullshit. Sorry about that. Oh, the P. No, um, I don't know. Thanks for voting. Thanks for watching. These guys are great. And uh, with your support and with your voting and all your interactions, we can hopefully see these guys at more events and pimping it out because it's very rare that you find somebody in esports that does it out of passion. And those people that do it out of passion and they do it out of trying to that grow not only themselves but the scene and uh, individuals, those are ones you have to really look out for. So if you're already watching, you're doing a great service in the Dota community. Keep watching, keep interacting. If you're not watching, you can hear what I just said. Start watching. If you know someone who doesn't, refer them to these wonderful gentlemen. You get ten dollars for everybody that gets referred. That's just, right. I you just have to sign on a survey. I get five dollars. Yeah, Slacks gets fifty percent of it. We have a contract. <laughs> no, Slacks, like, you're a great guy. Right. The whole scene loves you, God damn it. You're, 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 you were called the champion of the people, is what I've heard. Oh God. Yeah, you, you were called the. I'm not gonna say who. You were called the champion of the people. Okay, that, what do you have to say about being the champion of the people? That is a mistake. <laughs>